students i am dr ramyashri it shop 6 and gynecology i have come up with a very 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 important recent update that is mtb act 2020 so we all know that the old act was mtb act was passed in 1971 which came into effect in august 1972 and it was revised in 1975 but that's a old story now what's old to new here so from the old to new what are the changes which we have under mtb act 2020 is what i'm going to speak so this got passed in the lok sabha but it is yet to be passed in the rajya sabha the first thing which we have to know about this act is mtb act 2020 got passed in lok sabha but is yet to be passed in the rajya sabha now what is the reason for having this act earlier termination was only up to 20 weeks but now upper limit of termination has been changed why few years back we have seen multiple cases where uh, a victim of a rape or a, or a congenital anomalies where they have crossed 20 weeks and we couldn't abort because they crossed the 20 weeks so all those led to this questioning that is upper limit of 20 weeks a correct option for those women right so definitely it's not correct because we cannot let a woman suffer because she has crossed the 20 weeks so that is why we have the new act where the upper limit of termination has been changed from 20 to 24 weeks only for survivors of rape or victims of incest or women with fetal anomalies this is also a very important point you have to understand it's not for the failure of contraception or any other causes of where you are going to do mtp so upper limit of termination has been changed from 20 to 24 weeks for those women who are victims of rape or victims of incest or those women who have fetal anomalies that's the point number 1 now coming to the point number 2 point number 2 is upper limit of the termination will not apply in case where termination is due to substantial fetal abnormalities so whenever you have substantial fetal abnormalities your upper limit does not apply at all okay that is like for example you have a case of anencephaly which got detected around 25 weeks now obviously anencephaly anencephaly you cannot uh, proceed there the baby has no survival rate so although it crossed the 24 weeks i don't have the upper limit for any such cases i can go for termination so that is regarding the upper limit of termination will not apply for those patients who have substantial fetal abnormalities now who will decide is it a substantial fetal abnormality or not like downs downs is not a substantial fetal abnormality downs babies are pretty good and happy and doesn't require like you cannot tell that i have to terminate it uh, and upper limit should not be there now who will decide this ki what are substantial fetal abnormalities and what are not so they have decided that you should have they have a medical board which includes a four doctor which includes mainly a gynecologist a radiologist a sono a, a pediatrician and few members from the state government who will decide ki which are the substantial fetal abnormalities which where you can elevate the upper limit of termination right that's the second thing the coming to the next thing which you should know which is a change earlier up to 12 weeks it was one doctor 12 to 20 weeks it was two doctors opinion but now up to 20 weeks one doctor opinion and 20 to 24 weeks it is two doctor opinion which you should take that's the another change which we have right and if you have failure of contraception the upper limit you can terminate it within 20 weeks earlier it was the bill used to tell that the provision is only for a married woman with her husband who has a failure of contraception for termination up to 20 weeks but now failure of contraception for termination up to 20 weeks is allowed for a woman with her partner also so that's the another change which we have in this act so earlier it was only married women with her husband but now it is for women with her partner also can come up to tell you that she has a failure of contraception and she will be allowed to terminate within 12 20 weeks that's the another change which we have in this act last protection of the privacy 
of the woman is a very very important so you will not let you will not tell the uh, you will not tell the identification of the woman you will not reveal the identification of the woman so these are the certain changes which we have under the recent uh, mtp act which was passed in 2020 so that's a very important topic guys so have a look in this video it's a short video yes so thank you i hope i'm clear i made it clear what are the changes which we have thank you guys